Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Up Next. Man, I'm gonna come back with another video. Hey, man, say, man, look, man, make sure you make the first link in the description. Go cop, go shop. Up Next Satin Line Beanie. Also, the Up Next Multi Purpose Beanie. I wear this 24 7. It's cold as hell outside, so make sure you go cop. Make sure you go get you one. I'm shipping tomorrow. Also, we got a lot of stuff we're doing tomorrow. But right now, today, we got that boy Cat Williams. we only going to watch about 15 minutes of this. It's 40, 45 minutes, I want to say. It says 44, but it's 45. Um. We're gonna watch we're gonna watch 15 minutes of this. I'm gonna split it up into two. And so I'm gonna do part one. And I'm gonna go to the next video and do part two. So we're gonna do it like that. I right? I want y'all to comment how y'all feel about this down below, man. We used to watch this shit when I was younger. You know what I'm saying? We used to put it up on the on the on the big booty uh uh screen TV, you know what I'm saying, with the with the ass in the back, you know what I'm saying? Uh 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 you know <laughs> yeah, man, that that's just how it was. And it's copyrighted too. It's copyrighted. Uh, which is smart as hell by Cat Williams. Nigga done copyrighted the stand up. Nigga, that nigga smart as shit. You know what I'm saying? He done copyrighted the stand up, made it into a goddamn album. This nigga smart as crap. You know what I'm saying? So let's hop straight into it though. Let's get it. Let's go. Comment y'all opinions down below. Comment y'all favorite parties. <laughs> All right, man, we, 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 we trying to get straight to the Cat Williams, you know what I'm saying? We trying to get straight to the Cat Williams. We will watch the Cat Williams intro, but it's like, come on, bro. Oh, I'm not going to pause a lot. Like, like y'all y'all be on my ass. Oh, nigga, quit, quit pausing. With the but y'all got to look at this. Y'all really got to look at this shit. It's like Cat Williams really took the mo the role from Friday and really played that bitch out. You know what I'm saying? Really live the character of Mighty Mike. It was so, he did he played the character so well. When I was younger, I really thought Cat Williams was a pimp. I swear to God, but he that just shows you how much he could play the role so well. How much of a good actor this nigga is. Uh -huh. You're dismissed. <laughs> It's a volume. A motherfucking pleasure to be here in Atlanta. God damn Atlanta. Look at you motherfuckers. God damn. <laughs> it used to be so much cussing, bro. On the TV, bro. I swear to God, it used to be so much cussing, bro. <laughs> This is where a, really, a nigga really learn how to cuss from the comedians. Them old comedians, nigga used to just sit up there, bitch, and watch it. Nigga used to be funny as hell. I don't know what the fuck. I, I dig it, don't know whether to cry or just get fucked up. So I'm going to do a combination of both a little bit later. What a beautiful motherfucking place. I want to make all the hairstylists in Atlanta. is nine million of you motherfuckers <laughs> One more you bitches ass to do my goddamn hair. Fuck no. Y'all fuck that. Saying stupid shit to a nigga talking about no nigga your hair retain heat. Bitch, what the fuck? I done had this hair all day, bitch. It ain't burned me yet. <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about? I don't <laughs> Ain't nothing like Atlanta. I don't give a fuck what a nigga say. Nothing like Atlanta. It's so many. God damn. It's so many fine bitches in Atlanta make a nigga have a nervous break. <laughs> don't get angry, lady. I'm only calling you bitches because I don't know your names individually. Holla if you hear me now. Let's not get sensitive this evening. Let's not. Life is too motherfucking short. I am happy than a motherfucker to be here. Ain't nothing like Atlanta. You don't know what the fuck you gonna get. This is the most nastiest, dirtiest, ugliest, <laughs> most beautiful, wonderful place in all what? of America. You could get. 
All your dreams could come true at Magic City or you could get killed at a stoplight, nigga. You never <laughs> fucking know. It can happen right here, nigga. Right. You don't know what to tell Jesus. You just, Jesus, I don't know that. <laughs> Is life stupid. is fucking short. Stop being ungrateful about your motherfucking life. You gotta learn to be grateful. If God done bless you with a Chrysler 300, be happy you got a Chrysler 300. Stop walking around talking shit, talking about nigga, I got it because it looked just like a phantom. No, nigga. <laughs> it looked like a Chrysler 300. <laughs> <laughs> Pulls up. Yeah. <laughs> then you just hit that motherfucker. <laughs> this is bullshit. I don't even want to be on this street, nigga. I don't even want to. <laughs> like, pay attention to, like, the way this nigga, like, he tell the joke and he reenact. Like, you can actually visualize it in your head. That's what make a good stand-up comedian. All I'm saying is you got to be grateful about your motherfucking life. Ladies, you need to understand that as long as you got a vagina, you run the entire motherfucking universe. That's the way it is. You need to understand that. The only niggas that don't agree is homosexuals, and we wasn't talking to y'all. This ain't your part of the <laughs> show right stupid, now. Man. Ladies, I'm stupid, telling you, you man. got to be the shit to you. Stop waiting on a nigga to verify whether you the shit or not. Bitch, if you the shit, you the motherfucking shit. We tired of y'all getting with us <coughs> and blaming us for shit we ain't even in control of. You done got with a nigga, now you talking about, you fucked up my self-esteem. Bitch, it's called self-esteem. <laughs> it's esteem of your motherfucking self, bitch. How the fuck can I fuck up how you feel about you, simple bitch? Simple bitch. I'm just saying, ladies, stop tripping on shit that don't even motherfucking matter. Never in the history of niggadom has a nigga... Niggadom. Nigga dumb. Nigga don't make this shit. Never in the history of nigga dumb has a nigga been getting ready to have sex with a woman and changed his mind because her fingernails and toenails didn't match. Not never. Not <laughs> never. Never has a nigga been putting a condom on and went, bitch, is that plum and red? <laughs> I can't even do it, bitch. I'm out of here. I can't even do it. This thing is stupid, bro. This thing is stupid. Just saying, ladies, stop worrying about shit that don't matter. Some of y'all that had some babies, now you got some stretch marks, you walking around the house bitter, blaming the baby, showing the baby your high school picture, talking about look what you did to me. <laughs> Fuck that. If your man got a problem with your stretch marks, I suggest you stop fucking with bitch niggas. That's what I say. That's what I say. I think I speak for all real niggas in attendance today when I say we ain't got time worry about no shit like stretch marks we know they either came from one of two things nigga either you was big and got small or you was small and got big <laughs> either way we fucking either way <laughs> stupid bro shit ladies on the other hand if you 25 years or older and you still walking around talking about niggas ain't shit, you need to get a handle on your motherfucking life and take some responsibility, bitch. What you mean to say is all the niggas you fuck with ain't shit. You need to figure out what it is about your pussy that keep attracting ain't shit niggas. It's your own personal business. I'm just saying life is short. To my niggas, I know you gotta be hard. A black man in America, you gotta be a hard motherfucker, but we all know niggas that's hard all the motherfucking time. You can't forget to enjoy your goddamn life. Thanks. We all know niggas that's hard at seven o'clock in the motherfucking morning. You like, nigga, wait a minute, nigga. Nigga, chill, man. Right? at breakfast, nigga? Just chill. You niggas be at work bad in the motherfucker. Nigga, just chill. Gang banging on bacon, nigga, this is... Nigga don't bought his nigga don't bought his blue flag, his red flag to work and everything. That nigga gay banging in at breakfast, yes. On the nine of on the job, yes. I know 50 Cent up made it real cool to be shot. Let me just say I've been shot before. Ain't shit cool about it. When I got shot, ain't no bitches come out, ain't no music play, nothing. Nothing. The fuck the park when I got shot, I wasn't even in the altercation. I'm outside the club watching some other niggas. Look at these crazy niggas. <sighs> Oh shit, that nigga got a gun, nigga. It's better be good. <laughs> Wait a minute, Jesus! Wait a minute now! 1032 bitches in the trunk! Wait a minute, Jesus! <laughs> this is bullshit. I done got blood in my perm, nigga. I'm finna black out. I'm finna black out. <laughs> <laughs> nigga 
said that nigga got blood in my face. Enjoy your motherfucking life. That's all the fuck I'm saying. Enjoy your goddamn <laughs> life. Life is fucking short. Enjoy that shit. Some of y'all just need to smoke some weed and see if it don't help the quality of your motherfucking life. I know, Stupid. I see some of y'all. Look, I understand. If you ain't smoking weed because you got a good job, then by all means, make your paper, boo-boo. But if you ain't got no job <laughs> and you're not smoking weed, I don't know what the fuck you are doing with your life. This really is stupid as hell, bro. I really don't. I really don't give don't. me that shit about it's a drug. It ain't no motherfucking drug. I done done the research. It's just a plant. It just grow like that. And if you should happen to set it on fire, <laughs> there are some effects. But that's not the same as drugs. Drugs, you got to do shit to it chemically. You got to add baking soda, water, stir it up. I don't know the recipe. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's some shit you got to do to it. <laughs> well, why the fuck is it illegal? I don't know. Aspirin is perfectly legal. But if you take 13 of them motherfuckers, it'll be your last headache. <laughs> Long as you've been living, you ain't never heard of a motherfucker overdose on marijuana. You might have thought that nigga was dead. He ain't dead. <laughs> he ain't dead. in 30 minutes, hungry enough to eat up everything in your house. <laughs> That's the side effect. Hungry, happy, sleepy. That's it. <laughs> Don't testify. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If you... If your life is fucked up, you need weed. Weed is put on this earth for niggas on the struggle, niggas on the grind. There is a chemical in weed that's called fucking. <laughs> so, and if you could just get that in your system, it could change your life. Some of y'all be crying about bills you can't pay. Just, I don't know what I'm going to do about this light bill. They don't want, they want the whole thing. They don't want a piece <laughs> of it, a deposit. This thing is just stupid. hit the blunt one time and see if it don't change your perception of what's important in your life. You just, I don't know what I'm going to do about this life. Fuck <laughs> them goddamn lights. I got 12 candles. I've been waiting to burn them bitches. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Had to be careful though. Had to be careful because weed is getting stronger every two weeks. <laughs> and these niggas ain't sending out memos or bulletins or nothing. The shit just strong for no reason. And these niggas that sell the weed be happy than a motherfucker to tell you how much stronger this shit is than the last <laughs> shit. As soon as they see you, just niggas, 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 nick, nick, nick. You remember that shit I gave you last week, nigga? nigga it's nothing, nigga. It's, it's nothing, nigga. It's, it's nothing, nigga. Nigga, it's nothing. It's this shit right here, nigga. Right here, this shit nigga. right here, nigga. Right here, right this here. shit, nigga. This shit here, nigga. <laughs> Always have some fucked up name. This crypto kind of like, nigga. <laughs> Always have some fucked up ass name. Like, nigga, this shit here, nigga. This shit here, niggas. This shit's called death, death nigga. <laughs> Like, nigga, that don't even sound attractive. What the? You wanna die? I'm gonna hit it and die, nigga. Is that what? No, nigga, not death, nigga, death. Death. You hit this shit twice, nigga, you can't hear shit. <laughs> like, nigga, I got shit to do Dude. today. What the? <laughs> Your kids been calling you all day. They're daddy! <laughs> This thing is stupid, bro. I'm used to smoking the weed and getting the munchies. This nigga sold me some shit, had me looking at the refrigerator for three hours. <laughs> I'm just in the kitchen, sitting on the stove. Just. <laughs> just. <laughs> I bet you it ain't shit in there, nigga. I bet you. <laughs> All I'm saying is, you know the weed is too strong when you can't do shit but hit it and look at it. You just in your house, just, mm -mm, nigga, mm -mm, something in there, nigga, something in there. <laughs> well, why is it sparkling then? Why is it sparkling? <laughs> weed to hide your motherfucking ass, though. Weed, you have to be careful <laughs> you don't smoke weed with dumb niggas, because weed make you smart. We gonna, we gonna stop it out right there, man. That's part one, man. Make sure that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications for part two. We definitely gonna get into part two. I got more reaction videos coming out for y'all. Make sure that first link in the description. All right, let's go to the next video.